I just want to say the greenhouse gives so much life. <sighs> so happy in here. Hey everyone, it's Brittany from Green Bee Flowers. We are growing and designing here in Zone 6A, Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Uh, today we are working on market bouquets to send to the hardware store. So we've got about eight bouquets to make. Went outside, checked the greenhouse. We've been working on a ton of business related administrative stuff. Uh, so it's a nice break right now to take some bouquets. I'm going to show you some updated ways in which we are wrapping those and then we will get those sent out later today. So hope you enjoy this video. It's not going to be a very long one but I hope it is at least a little bit informative uh, because we've changed the way we are doing some of our bouquet wrapping. So today I am working on a bouquet order for the hardware store. Uh, it's about 20 minutes from us that I talked about Way back in the summer, we have a contract going with them. So we're still bringing bouquets there on a, like twice a week-ish, um, and I'm still trying to stock in primarily um, Ontario grown floral. So currently what we have going on here in the bouquets this week is uh, local Elstromeria. Now when you're processing Elstro, I like to make sure to take off like all of these here, these leaves and then all the stem leaves. Um, when I'm doing market bouquets, I'll typically leave the ones on the top. Uh, it helps the bouquet to look a little fuller, which I like. We have lots of greenhouse so local tulips. These are coming out of the uh, Niagara market. So I have some singles and some doubles in here. We're gonna be mixing these in. I've got Pussy Willow because it is springtime. And also coming out of Pine Ridge Gardens, uh, so these guys I've talked about before, they are also Canadian um, Ontario flower grower. So we have okie dokie Gerber daisies, which I think is really funny because as somebody who is inherently Canadian um, and also like of Dutch heritage, okie dokie is like a very common <laughs> acknowledgement, it's just a saying uh, in my family, so of course I had to get these. And then currently, uh, local mums are done. They'll be done probably until about April. Um, so I picked up these, they are imported. I like these mums, they're cute. These little green button mums. Palms, they're palms. If you're getting these uh, from a wholesaler, they're gonna be palms. I've made some adjustments this year to the way in which we are wrapping some of our market style and hand tie bouquets. Um, and the biggest decision that I made was actually to add a waxed tissue paper in. Now this, this can still be composted, recycled, right? So uh, it is a, it's a waxy coating on here, it's not plastic. Um, but the reason I wanted to add these in was just to give a little bit more of a protective barrier to the flowers when they're going in the craft paper. I find especially with um, some of the stores that are carrying the flowers and the bouquets in transit, the simply this, the craft paper can get wet right and when craft paper starts to get wet and damp it very seriously makes the bouquets look much less luxurious and you want to put your best foot forward when you are doing floristry right half of it is just things are pretty so we started adding in these pieces of waxed tissue now when I fold it so we get them 
They are rectangular like this and I will typically fold them on a bit of an angle so that you're still getting that nice little um, triangle and then when they fit in my 18 by 18 piece of paper here, so I'm still using my 18 by 18 craft paper from New Line. I'm folding that little piece down still and then placing placing my tissue paper in so that when it goes into the bouquet, right, it's looking it's looking like this. So the flowers will actually go right in here. So let's make a bouquet and I'll show you what that looks like. So for this bouquet, we're going to grab some tulips. I'm going to grab the stem of Elstromeria making sure that you're keeping in mind what you want your markup on flowers to be. If you're doing this from wholesale, even if you're doing this from the farm, uh, you want to make sure that you are pricing your flowers at a markup so that you are making money, right? So we have little gerbs. So I'm going to take one little gerb. Two little gerb balance it off with a yellow tulip, add in my stem here, right, pussy willow, and then I also have some Italian ruscus here which I'm going to add as well, give it a little bit of greenery. And that would give me my bouquet that is worth about twenty dollars. Oh, forgot. I'm supposed to have a mom too. So that gives you your nice spring bouquet, right? It's worth about twenty dollars here. So it doesn't look like much, right? Because that's that's the thing with market bouquets is they tend to look kind of small. I get this question a lot is like, how, how do I get the pricing? How do I get that pricing, right? Well, uh, the biggest part of it is I, I, I make sure that my markup makes sense. And taking that extra time to make sure that your packaging looks great really does, really does make your product look luxurious, makes people want it. Um, and this, the way I've arranged it, you can put it nicely into like a tall vase at home and these tulips will keep going for, you know, a good 10 days. So it's definitely worth it. You're gonna take your elastic band, right? You do this frequently. Wrap it around. There you go. Okay, it's done. And to wrap your bouquet, we're gonna take this here, set it right so that your stems below your elastic band are in the water and then you're just going to wrap it like you would normally so i typically try and make sure that my focals are facing on the outside but we would essentially do this just tuck that little piece in that looks right so i'm going to tie it with string and we're going to put it in water and get it prepared to go to market. Herbs. I decide that I would like to use a rose instead. This variety I brought in earlier this week. 
very, very pretty blush rose. Then I just compensate the pricing uh, to make sure that I'm still hitting my margins. So whereas Gerberas, two Gerberas tend to be a little cheaper than just a regular rose. Um, I will make sure to compensate that so that I'm using one rose, so one focal instead of the two. But I have these beautiful blush uh, tulips that I wanted to put with that one. I like to add a variety to my bouquets for the farm store. I just find it helps sell more flowers when you have more options. Um, for market, we find that batching the flowers works really, really well, especially in the summer when you've got just buckets and buckets full of floral, right? Uh, but in the wintertime, when we're only doing, you know, like maybe sending out about eight bouquets at a time, I like to make sure that there's a variety there so that when customers are looking, they can kind of mull over what they want to choose. And when they're shopping out of the store, they have the time, right? Like they're okay to relax. Whereas farmer's markets, I find people tend to need to go faster. And again, the goal here is just to make something cute that's an easy grab and go option. For today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video uh, hit that like button if you would like to continue to follow along on our flower journey uh, you can hit the subscribe button below as always thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about the way we're wrapping about the way in which we are wrapping bouquets you can post those down below uh, hope you guys have a great day thank you so much bye <laughs> Same, dude. <laughs>